Welcome guys to another video. Today we're going to teach you how to get your crypto taxes in BitGet fast using coin tracking. And it's very easy if you use the API setting or you can use the CSV files and import those into coin tracking. Today we're going to teach you both ways and show you how to do it. It's very easy. So let's dive in. We are in BitGet and we're going to start with the API key. To get instructions to read on, you can go into coin tracking, go to exchanges API and then go to BitGet. Here you can see how it works. It will have a structured instruction, how to get your API key and what to do. And on the right side, you can see the limitations of the CSV file and the API key. So whatever you use, just check the limitations and then you know which one is the correct one to use. We always suggest using the API because it will seamlessly just import all the data into coin tracking and you don't have to keep updating it because it automatically pulls the data from BitCat but it's up to you which one you use. Let's start with the API import. For that, we go back to BitGet and then go to our account and go to API keys. Once you click that, you will get to the API key dashboard where you can see you set up APIs from previous setups or you can create a new create API key, which we will do right now. For that, we click system generated API key and note how we want to name our API P, let's say coin tracking. Then we have to set a passphrase, which we will later on have to insert also in coin tracking. So keep in mind and don't forget that one. Let's copy that, go into coin tracking and insert our passphrase right here. Then for the permissions, you need only the read only permission. Coin tracking is only interested in reading your data and importing it into coin tracking and not writing the data. So it means using your account on your behalf and doing something with the crypto. So always only read only and it's safe to share if it's only read only. For the permissions, we give it all the permissions so we can get all the data from all the transactions you did on BitGet so we can import them for your tax purpose. And then we need the code from our authenticator. Once you have both codes, click verify and you will be able to create your API key. On top, we see our API key. On the bottom, we see our secret key and both of them you have to copy and insert into coin tracking. Now we have all the information we need in coin tracking and we can hit save this BitGet job. Once done, coin tracking will give you the confirmation that the job was saved and it is successfully implemented in coin tracking. Once this imports zero turns to imports one, you know that the import was correctly and successfully done into coin tracking and all the transactions are in. So in the meantime, while we are waiting, we will proceed with the CSV data. So how to download the CSV data from BitGet and import into coin tracking. Important to know is that you cannot combine the API with the CSV data otherwise, or because then you will get duplicates in your account. So you have to choose one of both. Either you import the API key with the secret and let the API fetch the data from the exchange or you use the CSV and then update manually your data. So for the CSV, you will go to CSV import. And again, here you have the instructions how to download this CSV from BitGet. In BitGet, we have to download three different CSV types to get all the transactions needed. First, we will try to download the spot records. For that, we can simply click the link in coin tracking and we will get redirected to the correct page. Now we see our spot records and we need to change the date to the period where we have all of our spot trades. For our case, it's the last three months. And then we can hit export on the right side, the date over 90 days, all coins, all types, and the type of document needs to be CSV. Once done, you can generate your report. It will confirm that you are generating the report. This will take around five minutes. I have prepared that already. So this is the report we have uh, for our account and I downloaded it as well. Once you have downloaded your report, you can choose the file and upload it into coin tracking, continue to import, and then you will see your trades and the deposit in here. 
If you see no info or error messages, then everything is correct with the data and you can proceed with the start import button. Once done, coin tracking will confirm that the bitget import has been done and the data is correct. And you see that here is two in the import done. So all the, all the data is imported correctly. There are no errors. And then if you hit enter coins, then you will get to your transactions and you see the two transactions are in your account. As well for balance by exchange, you will see your BitGate spot balance. But we are still missing some of the BitGate data. So therefore we need to go back and download the leverage history and the futures record. For that, we simply go back to the page where we downloaded our spot trades already and go down here and download the margin records. For that as well, we download the last three months, export it and the same and the same for all the asset types. For our case, we don't have any margin records. We don't have any future records. And the rest is empty as well. So we are all good with those trades. And that's it. Basically, you can get your BitGate data via API or by the CSV into coin tracking to do crypto taxes really fast. Once we have consolidated all the correct data in coin tracking and we fixed the missing transactions, validated the transactions and everything is spot on, then we can proceed with our tax report. To generate our tax report, we simply go to tax report and click tax report. Now we are in the crypto tax report site where we can generate our tax report. But before we have to set up the tax report with some options and settings. So for the country, we select our country, in our case it's Germany, but there's a variety you can choose from. Then for the tax method, we use first in, first out. But again, there are a lot of tax options you can choose from and depending on your situation, choose the right taxation method. Then for the tax year, we use 23 as our tax year. But again, depending on your trading behavior, there will be many different years uh, to choose from and depending on your need, generate the tax year you need. Then for the filters, you can include and exclude specific transaction types if you want to. Then previous trades, consider all previous trades in the report. This is an option you should leave on. Then you can use the deposit separation tax slots if you want to or not. And you can group all purchases by day and group all search by day. If you have a lot of transactions in your account, this will speed up the generation process of the tax report. Once all done and you have your settings in, we can generate a new tax report. Once you have generated new tax report, you will see in the bottom the total capital gains and the year of the taxation, the taxation method. And if you want to see more information about your tax report, simply click load report. This is a much more detailed view of the report. And once it loaded up, we will see all the details about the report. The details have loaded and now we can see how much capital gains we had, how much income we had. And if you scroll down, you will see even more details line by line, transaction by transaction, what you exactly did, how much you profited off it or lost on it. We see the income, we see the gift donations, the fee report, the lost and stolen, the closing positions. We have everything in this report. And if you need to submit your report, then simply scroll up and go to download to end this report and then simply click download PDF or download Excel and then you can submit it or give it to your CPA and move from there on. We hope this video was helpful to you and if there are any open questions, please leave them down in the comments and we will happily answer all the comments for you. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and check out our playlist with all the other exchanges where we guide you step by step how to export the API or CSV and import them into coin tracking so you can do your crypto taxes easily. We wish you happy trading and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.